Well, the world's first test of planetary defense was, was a success. NASA's mission to change an asteroid's direction worked. The spacecraft DART knocked an asteroid called Dimorphos off course by speeding it up slightly and shortening its orbit around a larger asteroid named Didymus. And the test would be deemed successful if they could shorten the rock's orbit by 10 minutes. Well, they were able to shorten it by 32 minutes, shattering expectations. Scientists calling this mission a triumph. The $330 million object was launched into space last November before it hit the smaller asteroid. Neither space rocks are a threat to Earth, but other asteroids do pose a potential collision risk to Earth in the future. The mission was to test the deflection technology that may, may save our planet from a deadly meteor one day. Joining us now to help us understand is former NASA astronaut and MIT professor Dr. Jeffrey Hoffman. Dr. Hoffman, great to see you again. Hi, good evening. Always nice to be here. So this was a, a, a success. Uh, what is the next step? What is the next challenge now? Well, the, the critical thing for this test, um, we didn't really know how much of a change this little satellite would make smashing into the asteroid. A lot depends on the composition of the asteroid. If it if, if it was a really hard asteroid and, and, and we just smashed in, you would get a small deflection, which was kind of the minimum that they were looking for. But if the asteroid is kind of made up of, of a lot of small little pebbles and things, it's going to kick out a huge plume after the asteroid, uh, after the satellite uh, hits it. And that's that plume coming out acts a little bit like rocket propulsion. And so it actually had a much bigger effect than if it had just smashed in all by itself. So the asteroid helped. Um, the biggest thing, I think, for NASA is to expand their ability to conduct surveys of near Earth asteroids because the whole idea of being able to deflect an asteroid by changing its orbit just a little bit, which is what we've done here, is that you've got to do it early. Um, I mean, early, you know, early is absolutely key. Uh, how much warning time would we need for something like this to be effective? Um, ideally, you'd like a couple of years at least. Hmm. By the time an, uh, you know, an asteroid gets as close to the Earth as you saw in some of the movies, you know, when Bruce Willis blew it up, um, that's really too late. So you really want to spot these things long before they're going to come anywhere near the Earth. And that's, uh, you know, we, we've located a, a fairly large percentage of the larger asteroids, but there's still a lot of things out there that we probably haven't seen. And in particular, every once in a while, we see a small asteroid that that's sort of coming out of the sun, um, we, which is why we didn't see it before. And and they some of them have come pretty close to the Earth, even inside the orbit of the Moon. And so, being able to detect these things, um, even when they're in orbits inside the Earth, is is very important. I mean, I'd say that's pretty alarming. Uh, but uh, Dr. Hoffman, I certainly appreciate the context and uh, and the success of this mission is wonderful to see. I will never forget we spoke to you shortly after. Um, it actually smashed into the asteroid. Yeah, and you were a yeah. fairly serious man of science, sir, but um, but I saw how giddy you were, and it, and it really touched me. It was a beautiful thing to see. Yes, I mean, this is something that people have been talking about for decades yeah. now, and, and the fact that we've actually done it. You know, to demonstrate that with a, a robotic spacecraft, all of this had to be pre-programmed, because all of those activities at the very end you know, it had to distinguish between the Didymus, the larger asteroid. Oh, and, absolutely. And, well, it can't smash into the wrong one. The technology is incredible. Um, Dr. Hoffman, I wish we had more time, but um, I, I do appreciate you. Thank you so much and have a great evening. Always fun to talk. Thank Thanks. you. Bye -bye. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.